Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Look at all those seahorse just swimming along. Mr. Seahorse. Mr. and Miss Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Miss Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes. Thank you, said Miss Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Can you see the fish hiding? Can you see them now? One, two, three, four. Four trumpet fish hiding. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. Can you see the lionfish? Can you see it now? But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Miss Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by several leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Can you see them? Can you see them now? That's right, it's one, two. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, Miss, replied Mr. Curtis. Miss Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. You see the eggs on Mr. Curtis's head? <laughs> As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. Can you see the stonefish? There he is. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pike? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Miss Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. His throat is really busy today. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Miss Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. See all those little babies? <laughs> a lot of little babies. Look what happened. You see all the little baby seahorse? The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around.